Hey everybody, CJ here with Muxboard, and today we're not here to talk about Muxboard products. Today we're going to do another unboxing of something that I picked up at Skywars. So let's get started. So here it is. Uh, it's actually a little bit too big for my workbench. So let's hurry up, get it opened, and we'll take a look at what's inside. All right, you can kind of tell already. Got something from Simplifier Mongoose. Don Kark delivered this to me at Skywars. So let's get started. So here they are, got myself three 48Q modules from Mongoose, so let's go ahead and get a couple of these out of the way and take a closer look. Okay, so let's get started. The Mongoose system uses a, a little bit different style of transmitter. Uh, this goes along with your laptop computer. All the uh, HMI, the, the what the user sees and interacts with is on the PC, and this connects via USB. And then on the other end here, we've got a, uh, looks like a reverse polarity SMA connector and an antenna to go along with it. So not much to look at there. We'll take a look at this uh, at a future video with a little more detail. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side. Here's what we're really here to see. Mongoose module looks like it comes in a standard seahorse case. So there we go. On the back here, you can see we've got our, again, uh, reverse SMA connector. The two DB25s, this is where your slats are gonna connect. Looks like a buzzer and maybe a couple LEDs. And then over here, we got an XLR jack. Nice, looks like amp and all, good quality XLR jack. That's for DMX. Let's go ahead and open her up. All right, there you can see we've got Mongoose module number F48PS1. Uh, I'm not sure how many uh, different models there are or hardware revisions, but this is what we got here today. Pretty simple interface here. Let's take a look at the lid. Looks like we got some startup notes and some directions here. Uh, looks like storage for the antenna. So that'll get installed on the back when you're ready to use it. Store it right there. And then we've got our charging port, which looks like a pretty typical DC barrel jack. Got USB, I'll have to see what all that's useful for. Uh, again, nice, looks like, looks like Amphenol connector, nice quality connector there. Got our little OLED screen, and looks like four membrane buttons here. And yep, optical encoder. So let's power it up, take a look at the menu. Power light, not sure what mode is. First thing it's asking us is address. It looks like, oh, oh, looks like we can use the encoder here. Go select our address anywhere from one to, looks like, yep, 254, or I guess zero to 254. That's a lot of modules. So let's go ahead and choose 255, choose a zone. Okay, we'll say none. Ooh, you can see there's a lot of information on that display. Not sure if you can see that, but we have got battery percent. Looks like we've got a 6.5 no RF. Hmm, interesting. Lots of information on there. Looks like maybe a MAC address. Status is disarmed. Gives us our address. 
So lots of information on there. Hopefully uh, we'll learn more about that as we, we get involved here a little bit more. Let's see what else we can come up with. Go back, okay, we can choose our address. Um, continuity, okay, so we go in here and we can, yep, got nothing connected so it's not showing anything. So that's kind of nice, 0 to 48, press knob to exit it says on the display. Arm button, oh. I heard the heard the beep buzzer on the back here. Oh, we've got a flashing LED now. Red and green. We'll learn about those statuses. See what everything means. Excellent. So this looks like a nice, pretty nice little package. Um, one of the other things I'll mention is, man, that's going to be pretty darn watertight. Looks like this back panel here, some sort of an epoxy potting material. Should be pretty uh, pretty weather tight. Got a got a rubber gasket here. Um, looks like we even got some Loctite on our SMA connector, so that's good. Uh, does the Infinol connector have a gasket? I can't really tell. But like I said, future video, we'll have a much closer look at that. Take a look at this inside and out. But I think for now, uh, that's going to be about it. I did get some cables to go along with this. Take a look at these. Sorry for the noise. Yep. Mail to mail, DB25 connectors. Feels like a pretty, pretty nice looking cable. I don't see any ratings right off hand, but uh, yeah, pretty standard DB25 cable. Looks like it'll get the job done. So if you like this video, great, appreciate it. Um, if you wanna see more of this mongoose system in a future video we're definitely going to do another video but i've also got some other firing systems i want to unbox first once i get them all unboxed then we'll start taking a closer look at them so if you guys have any comments about how you want to see these videos do you want to take a deep dive into each each one in a video or do you want to take a deep dive into one aspect of all of them in one video uh let me know uh, i've got lots of ideas but if you guys have suggestions or there's something you guys really want to see, go ahead and leave a comment below so I know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.